below. So there's some new folks here on this channel and I just want to give a quick disclaimer as my pen thoughts are loosely fountain pen reviews. However, they're more rambles. They're more about how I think of a pen and the feelings that it evokes within me rather than the technical specs. Although I will show up close and talk a little bit about those details and share writing samples. It's really just how I feel about a pen. I need to ramble just a little bit before I share the pen with you. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna hold the pen. <laughs> and and I may, may as well introduce it. Oh my goodness. This is the Bennu fountain pen. It's the Ambrosia model in the Brown Orchid and I am absolutely smitten with it. So for a while now, I have been feeling, I hate to use the word bored, but that seems to be the best word in this, uh, in this situation a bit bored. I have experienced and written with a whole variety of fountain pens, lots and lots and lots of fountain pens, some old and some new and different materials and different nibs. And after a while, things start to feel a little, maybe stagnant would be the appropriate word, where nothing seems different anymore. They all kind of blend together and the experience is all this very similar and every fountain pen feels very similar and nothing feels different or exciting and so on and so forth. I think this is something that happens to a lot of people in particular that review fountain pens regularly because they encounter so many fountain pens and it takes a lot to like wow them after a while. And that's kind of how I've been feeling. Like it's taken a while to be wowed. So Bennu has been on my radar since they first came out, which was not that long ago. And when they first did, I just, it, it was too much for me. Some might call them absurd or gaudy or flamboyant or ridiculous or there's a whole variety of, of different ad adjectives that I have heard to describe the Bennu fountain pen. And yet there is something really captivating about them. They're glittery and sparkly and the colors are rich and intense and vibrant and the shapes are really unusual. And I was never ready. I was never ready to step out of my comfort zone until recently with this feeling kind of bored <laughs> and, and then ODE, who has a YouTube channel here, posted a review of this pen and I thought that is the Bennu pen for me. That's the one I want to try. I am ready to take the plunge. I'm ready to take a chance and step out of my comfort zone completely. And oh my goodness, am I really grateful that I did because this pen has wowed me and captivated me and inspired me in ways that I haven't felt inspired by in a, what feels like a very long time. And who knows, for all I know, maybe the last time I made a pen thoughts video, I said exactly the same thing. I can't keep track, <laughs> but I don't think I did. It's been a while. I woke up this morning, just, I couldn't wait to write with it. It feels so comfortable in my hand. I love this size so much and it is soft. There's something really alive about the resin. And there's, I think because there's a lot of depth, there's a lot of reflection. The, the color is so saturated and pigmented, but also the feel of it. It's very soft. It's very solid. It feels really dense, but warm. There's like this energy. There's this life. It doesn't just feel like plastic. It doesn't feel inert. There, It feels like there's something more to it. And it's just, I really, I really enjoy this pen and already have a list of more Bennu pens that I would like to bring into my life in the future. So it'll be interesting to see what my pen collection starts to shift to this year. This is a very unexpected direction, but I definitely would like more Bennu pens. So before we do a close up, I just have to say, I hate having to say this, but I feel like I should. Uh, first of all, my hands are covered in ink because I've been doing a lot of swatching. But also I have been working with my hands 
for the last couple of months doing a lot of like home renovations hired this is my job i go and i've been putting in tile in people's houses and or you know laying floor tiles and uh doing electrical work and r right now i've actually been hired to replace galvanized steel plumbing throughout a house with pex plumbing So I've been doing a lot of work with my hands and they're really messed up and I keep trying to salvage them, but I, they're just, it all started with the thin set. That is really what did them in and they have not been able to heal properly since. So I apologize because we're gonna look up closely at this beautiful fountain pen and I hope that my hands are not too distracting. I really wanted to do this video outside because this, is just such a glorious pen. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed. I am actually obsessed with a fountain pen again, and that feels really good. And that is the perfect size and shape for my hand. And the, how it rests in the crook here, like it's just so soft and comfortable, and I'm, I'm smitten. There's this beautiful little amber cat band with flowers and I really like that it also has the same amber material on the grip section. This is a cartridge. They do have converters for it but it is a smaller pen so you can't use a standard international cartridge as far as I know. However, you can eyedropper this pen and I'm not sure if you can just get away with putting in silicone grease on, on the threads or if they suggest or recommend doing a rubber o-ring as well but right now i have a cartridge in there by diamine it's purple dream and it kind of mimics this purple resin color here and it's just absolutely gorgeous but i am i am just ugh, beyond smitten with this pen so the nib is a schmidt nib and this is a fine i also ordered with it the extra fine and I just want to show you this is the packaging which I also really appreciate because it's super minimal I really am not a big fan of the big over-the-top boxes I understand the the idea is to like create this very luxurious and ceremonial box opening um, but it just ends up being this big thing that you then have to store or throw away because a lot of the components are not plastic, or excuse me, are not recyclable. And this is entirely recyclable, and I love that. So it came in this little sheath here, just a paper sheath that has your usual things. And then I ordered, which I guess I don't have with me right now, I ordered a an extra fine as well. And they actually, they're really affordable. It was like 17 bucks, I think, to get an extra nib. And it comes with the whole nib unit. So what I mean by that is when you order an extra nib size, you get the nib, the feed, and the grip section, because it seems like these components are all like fused together, I, although I haven't tested that. I'm just assuming because that's how it arrived to me. I have been messing around with inks again, which is so exciting. I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't felt compelled. Honestly, my ink selection lately has been pretty boring and I've just been using, you know, black and blue and not doing anything spectacular. So when I considered eyedroppering this pen, I thought, okay, well, I really want an ink that I'm going to really enjoy because that's a lot of ink to carry around that I'll have to go through. And so far my favorite is this Sailor Shikiori, which has a very heavy sheen, but it matches that amber so nicely. And then I also am really drawn to these two purples. This is what I'm currently writing with, which is the Diamine Purple Dream. And that actually goes really well too. So I haven't, I haven't settled on, on anything just yet.
So the nib that Bennu uses are Schmidt nibs. I'm assuming that means they're not made in house, that they're actually made by Schmidt in a different, at a different location entirely. Uh, I don't think I've ever experienced a Schmidt nib. It's nothing that exciting, but it's not a bad nib. And honestly, I used to really prefer gold nibs, but the steel nibs that I've been experiencing as of late are really good, and the differences between a steel and gold nib are very subtle, and I don't think I have a preference anymore, <laughs> to be honest. So this is a steel nib. It is a fine, little bit dry. There is just a tiny bit of flexibility to it. It's not super stiff, which I do appreciate. Uh, it's pretty smooth, and it writes really consistently. It doesn't skip. And what more could you want in a pen? So in conclusion, I really love this pen. 10 out of 10, would buy again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.